Welcome to the Institute for Telecommunication Sciences Intern Showcase. This is Kristen Davis with the spotlight on ITS intern Ojis Sangi. Ojis is a sophomore at the University of Arizona and is earning his bachelor's degree in computer science. Research conducted at the Institute supplements Ojis's university studies. Computer science, what's interesting about it? I think there's a couple of things. First um, is just learning about like the complexities of how it works down at the really low level. Um, like you have all these individual small wires that either turn on or off, and then you have those two bits of information, and with that you can like combine millions of them to like make something much bigger um, and much more capable. Um, and along those lines, the second thing is like with computers, um, you know, you're sitting here at this desk in front of this device. Um, and these, these little plastic things that have letters written on them. And if you press the right amount of them in the right order, you can make something out of nothing. You know, like you're sitting here in front of this desk, um, you can make like an app or something that has a positive impact and is useful to people. Um, you can make like a positive impression on the world um, just by pressing these little plastic keys. Um, so that's really fascinating to me. Um, and during the course of making some kind of app or some kind of positive thing, um, the problem solving that goes into that process is really interesting to me. Uh, like thinking about, okay, while I'm making this, what's the most efficient way to store this data? When this al algorithm, um, like how do I problem solve to get to that end goal? And uh, talking to other people and see how they do it and incorporate their feedback and advice. All that super interesting to me. What might life look like after college? Um, kind of hard to tell as of right now, um, but there's kind of like two tracks I see. One is, you know, higher education, like master's, and the second is like a job. Um, right now I'm kind of leaning towards getting master's and then getting a job somewhere or something. Tell me a little bit about an ITS project you're working on. Uh, so for this past summer, um, and, as, and right now as well, I've been working on um, developing a machine learning workflow um, for ITS. Um, so I started, you know, learning machine learning um, and collaborating with uh, Margaret and Rob on this. Um, and I developed a workflow, step-by-step um, -step kind of guide of how do we approach machine learning, what do you keep in mind, um, what are some lessons I've learned. Um, and I'm writing a white paper that compiles all, all that information and will, it will uh, make trying out machine learning a lot more accessible to all the other um, engineers in ITS and also like other people outside of ITS who want to apply machine learning to um, like video quality projects. Um, so I've been working on that and I've been working with um, some other ITS engineers that have been doing machine learning in their own projects. Um, so that's the white paper is going to be like a combination of everyone's machine learning knowledge into one document. As a remote intern, what's a typical day like for you? Um, it's pretty simple, you know, I, I you know, has told um, Margaret and Julie from before what my working hours are. So I just kind of log on when I told them I'd log on. Um, I know what I have to do from before. So I just, you know, pick up where I left off, continue working. Um, and then usually every day I have a coordination meeting with Margaret and Rob, who are the main two people I'm working with. Um, so I just get on a Teams meeting with them and tell them, okay, this is, you know, what I did, this is where I'm at right now, um, this is where I'm going to do next. Um, and then if I have any questions or if I need help from them, then we talk about that. What do you like most about working for ITS? I'd say there's two things. One is uh, the independence and the autonomy. Uh, you know, I'm trusted that I can I'll log on when I log on and I'll do my work. Um, and there's just a lot of trust in everyone here to do their own work and that's really nice. Um, and the second is I get to work on projects of impact. You know, I know that what I'm doing here isn't going to like not make a difference. Um, it's going to positively affect uh, the other people in the org and uh, this field broadly. Um, so knowing that my work will have positive impact is really, really nice, really fulfilling. Click the link in the video description to learn more about ITS.